conversion of salts from a mixed salt to a pure salt and from a pure salt to a mixed salt and also how to convert a salt to a specific order. What is a mixed salt? Mixed salt is something when we have a question for a salt. See here cube root 3 is a irrational number and for that this rational value 2 is the question. In this case this is called as a mixed salt. Now to convert a mixed salt into a pure salt what we can do? For that Take this two and it's like cube root. The second irrational part can be written as 3 power 1 by 3. But to consider the denominator it is 3 so we'll make 3 by 3 here. Then we can take this 1 by 3 common for both. In that case we have 2 power 3 like it's like 2 power 3 whole power 1 by 3 into 3 power 1 by 3. Now we have 1 by 3 for both the things. So we take 1 by 3 in common. In that case it will become 2 cube into 3 whole power 1 by 3 which can be written as cube root 2 cube into 3. 2 cube is nothing but 8. So 8 into 3 that is cube root 24. Like this, we can convert a mixed cert into a pure cert. This is pure because we don't have any question before this irrational part of the cert. So this is pure thing. Now, let us take another example. To fifth root 9. This is the irrational part of cert and we have a question here which means this is a mixed cert. Now we have to convert this. How to do that? This is nothing but 2 into 9 power 1 by 5. Consider the denominator it is 5. So we write 2 in such a way that 2 power 5 by 5. So that there is no change. 2 means 2 power 1 and 1 can be written as 5 by 5 into 9 power 1 by 5. Now this can be written like the first thing 2 power 5 whole power 1 by 5. Here we are using this exponent a power mn is equal to a power n whole power n. Using this we are writing like this. And then we have 9 power 1 by 5. 9 1 by 5 is there for both the things. So we will take 2 power 5 into 9 whole power 1 by 5. This becomes fifth root. 2 power 5 is nothing but 32 32 into 9. This is nothing but 5th root. We multiply these two things. It becomes 288. So, 2, 5th root 9. This is a mixed third. Can be written as 5th root 288. Here we don't have any question. Which means this is a pure third. Converting a pure third into a mixed third. Consider this example. Now here we have 81. First 81 we have to do the prime factorization of 81. This can be done like 3, 27, again 3, 9, again 3 and 3. So if this is of cube root we have to group 3 things. So these 3 things we will write together as 3 cube into 3. This 81 is now written as 3 cube into 3. This is under cube root. This will become like 3 into cube root 3. Or if we want step by step, it is 3 cube into 3 whole power 1 by 3. And then this becomes like 3 cube whole power 1 by 3 into 3 power 1 by 3. Means this thing we have written separately, these two things. So 3 power 1 by 3 is nothing but 3 power 3 by 3 into 3 power 1 by 3. 3 and 3 cancels. So 3 into 3 power 1 by 3. So this 3 we have written here. And 3 power 1 by 3 can be written as cube root 3 which is written here. So cube root 81 is nothing but 3 into cube root. Now let us understand this with help of another example. A root 32. First we will do factorization of this 32 in prime factors. So 32 for 2 times it is 16 again 2 times 8 2 4 2 2. 
So as there is no order mentioned here, which means the order is 2, we'll take groups of 2. So 2, 2 and this one. So this 32 can be written as under root 2 square into 2 square into 2. But these two things, they will come out as 2 into 2 and this will remain under square root that is root 2. 2 into 2 is 4 root 2. So root 32 can be written as 4 root 2. Now this is a pure form as there is no coefficient here and this is a mixed form because the irrational part is there and even rational part is there in the so, the next thing is to convert a third to a specific order. Here we have root 2 and this we have to convert it into order of 6. Here it means it's of order 2. So, this is nothing but 2 power 1 by 2. How to convert to root 6 is, check this denominator, 6 divided by 2 is 3. So, we are going to multiply this 1 by 2 with 3 in both numerator and denominator that makes 2 into 1 into 3 is 3 and in denominator 2 into 3 is 6. So this thing can be written as 2 cube 4 power 1 by 6. Now this is 6th root. This 1 by 6 is means 6th root 2 cube is 8. So when we convert root 2 into order 6 it becomes 6th root 8. Concept 4th root 5 and we have to convert this to order of 12. Order has to be 12. This can be written as 5 whole power 1 by 4. It's 12 divided by 4 is 3. So both numerator and denominator of 1 by 4 will multiply that with 3. That makes 5 power 3 by 12. This is nothing but 5 cube whole power 1 by 12. Now this 1 by 12 can be written as 12th root and this term 5 cube. 5 cube is nothing but 125. So when we convert 4th root 5 to order of 12, it becomes 12th root 125. In this video, we have seen how to convert a mixed cert to a pure cert, a pure cert to a mixed cert and any cert of a particular order to a different order.